What's going on guys, and today we have another episode of the Road to Glory series. It's now episode 3, you guys have been smashing the likes, and I've got a lot, quite a lot of views um, on both episodes of the previous two episodes. One that was saying it was returning, and the other just kind of the episode 2, building the squad, and stuff like that. So we're going to get straight into today's episode, and I know I look really tired. Uh, I genuinely just woke up about half an hour ago, but I want to try and record this video in the morning so I can get a few more done later, and that is why my voice might be a bit croaky and stuff like that as well, so I'm sorry about that, um, but yeah, we'll just try and get through the video the way I am. As you can see, we did change the club name and the abbreviation, the club name to Road to Glory and the abbreviation to RT RTG, which does of course stand. Uh, for Road to Gori, and yeah, the team was looking very nice. If you did watch the last episode, we did buy quite a few players. We bought, I believe, um, the majority of the positions, so it was helping us out a lot. We then came to the, this dilemma here where we did not know what what one should we pick. Like, there was four quality, um, well, maybe not read, but there was three quality players. Do we go for Rondon? 11 matches, he is an absolute tank in FIFA, we get him for the longest. Um, Higuain, 9 matches, slightly higher rated as well. And Sanchez, the highest rated, but only 7 matches. Who did we think um, would be, we'd be able to use to our advantage? And I believe that was Salomon Rondon, because we get him for 11 games. And with that kind of Yaya Turi link and stuff like that, I just wouldn't really want... Um, only a, a guy for only seven games. I'd want him for at least maybe ten. So I'm glad we got Randall in, and I believe that is a right decision, guys. Make sure to tell me down below who would you have chosen um, from that kind of one um, area there. So as you can see, we did want to put in a few more of the players. Aigo Aspas um, was who we put up front, and it did mean that we had to play the two other strikers on the reserves, um, which was kind of annoying. As you can see, Arejo and Baptisto, I believe it is. We then went to see any other goals we may have. Um, to put in the squad, and then we would put on uh, we put in Castro because we needed them in that squad to get full chem with um, the Real Patricio and goals. So that was very helpful that we did get that centre back. I talked about that in the last episode, guys. Um, and if you haven't watched the last episode, I I'd highly recommend going checking that out before you watch the remainder of this episode. Um, but yeah, we got into our first game of the series, guys. I was buzzing for this, really looking forward to it. I wanted to start off on a winning streak. And as you can see, we didn't come up against a great opponent. He had Wesley Snyder on loan um, and Danny Welbeck. So the rest of the team was bronze and I felt very, very confident going into this game. Now we could pick up a win. And as you can see here, with Granero, uh, Granero sorry, picking up the ball in the fourth minute. Great ball through. Tell you go last pass. He just ran through and go. Great turn. And then another turn and what a strike that was to give us the 1-0 lead in the fifth minute. That is possibly the best start you could have got so I wasn't complaining at all very very happy with that as you can see Castro picking up here and banging that one into the top left corner very very nice strike from him and of course the tournament is out where you can win the team of the season Castro that should be guys in the next episode us trying to do that um, and I might do it in a few other episodes depending on what we do in it we'll see what happens guys um, and then you guys can kind of instruct me on what I should do um, involving that uh, tournament. So that should come out on the Friday, so the Serie and Luigi and Tot should be the ones coming out today. If you're looking forward to that, make sure to smash the like on the um, on the like button, and also comment down below, guys, should we build the Luigi and Serie A squads for the tournament, or should we just kind of keep it as La Liga and not try and mess the squad about a bit, but not be able to try and get those team of the season, so it'll be up for grabs in those tournaments. Make sure to tell me, guys, in the comment section down below. One of you guys that tells me one of the comments, I will... Include you in my shoutout series, for example. You will be guaranteed a shoutout in my shoutout series if I do use your idea. So if you use your idea in the comment section, even if you've had a shoutout before, you can win another shoutout, guys. Just make sure to comment that down below. As you can see, guys, the guy did, in fact, rage quit, which I was very happy about. Um, we got the 4 one in the first game of um, Division 10 and also the 310 coins. And coins at this moment in time are very, very important, guys. So I'm very happy with that. And we were hoping that we can continue into the next game the way we started that um, and try and pick up a second win. As you can see, guys, this guy had guests, um, which can be good and can also be bad. And then we saw his team. How do you possibly have that team in Division 10? That's one of the best kind of um, non-informed team of the season uh, BPL squads you can get. And I knew from the seconds um, I played this guy, he was not in Division 10. He, he must have. This must have been like maybe a Road to account as well. Maybe he put loads of players on the account to start again because he was definitely not in Division 10. He was very, very good. As you can see, he did take the lead. We did point out to Bacali though, and a great strike from him got his level at 1-1. At this point, I was thinking, 
this guy's very good. I'm going to struggle to beat him. Um, and, and that, yeah, that proved to be right. As you can see, we did win the ball back here. I don't know what I was doing. I think I might have just, like, dropped my controller or something. I can't even remember now. Um, as you can see, the controller was one back. And sadly for us, he did get the second goal um, for his team. And at this point, it was just attack after attack after attack for him. We really had no chance in the game. The keeper was not performing well. Raul Patricio was having an absolute nightmare in goals. He was just doing so bad. What is that for a throw-in? I mean, come on. It was 3-1 at this point. As you can see, Yaya Toure going through again uh, on goal. And it just scored again. We just couldn't do anything about it. We did bring on Yaya Toure. And you will see quite a lot of the chances. How we didn't score in this game is unbelievable. As you can see, should have possibly been a penalty there. Great ball over the top to bin that. And as you'll see, a great ball back inside. How does he not finish that off? It's unbelievable. Uh, and here you will see another chance. It's whipped into the box. And how does he not get this header on target? Like, half these chances... Should have been easy, easy goals for us guys. And we could have possibly got it back in the game. Maybe not back um, to four goals, but we could have at least got two or three goals. Which would have looked uh, the result a lot better. And I know you're probably thinking, losing to 4-1 Division 10. Guys, we didn't deserve to lose 4-1 first of all. And second of all, he had a quality, quality team. How he has that team Division 10, I have no idea. Um, he's clearly put coins in that account. And, he, and he, he was a lot better than a Division 10 player. But we did decide to go to the catalogue after that and see if there was any bonuses we could pick up guys if you haven't already done that on your ultimate team account go do it and um, go check out the catalog which should be on the is it settings or something like that i believe and um, so go check that out and you can download stuff like you can count, download coin boost like um if, for the next 10 games you get an extra thousand coins per game stuff like that so very very good you can also uh, get kits balls all these sorts of things celebrations so make sure to go check that out guys that is a very very um good thing for you guys to do this year on fifa hell show a lot as you can see guys we picked up a Diego Alves for 750 coins. How is that even possible? 83 rated keeper. I think he's the highest rated keeper in the week. And he's only 750 coins. Absolute bargain. Picked him up because Real Patricio was just in terrible in that last game. We knew we had to change. And then we went to Laporte, the Manchester City target. I'm hoping we can sign him in the summer. Um, but as you can see, picking him up again for very, very cheap. 850 coins this time. Um, for Eric Laporte um, but we didn't actually pick him up for that because he didn't have enough contract we wanted to get one with a bit more we saw a few with 13 uh, wanted to try and see if there was any more I know a couple with 13 there they, they never really seemed to have a lot of contracts which is kind of annoying but what can you do we eventually picked one up um, I believe you'll see in a second I thought it was maybe that 16 one maybe it wasn't um, it'll probably be about 18 Wow, I went through these pages for quite a while, didn't I? I think it's, it might be that 16 one. No, it's not. I can't even get that right. There it is. That has to be that 16.99 one, doesn't it? Oh, no. 32. 32.95. I'm, I'm, I can't even remember what I've done. Uh, so, we did pick up that 13.95. Uh, so, 30, uh, 32 contracts, sorry, and 95 fitness was what we needed in the squad. And it means we could use uh, Laporte now in our squad. And he would have a lot of contracts. We don't have any contracts in this account, guys. So, that is kind of annoying, but... I'm hoping um, we can maybe get quite a few contracts, maybe from winning tournaments and stuff to get his packs, stuff like that. Um, and of course, we're going to have to buy quite a few with coins as well. We might also have to build a fitness team, guys, just so the fitness doesn't run out as quickly. Or we can just buy squad fitnesses every time, but that could be pretty expensive. But as you can see, we came into the next game, had a very, very nice looking Bundesliga squad. Again, how does he have this in Division 10? It made no sense to me. Uh, as you can see, uh, winning the ball back there with Chicharito Hernandez. Got some playing back through Hernandez. I and mean, when you have Hernandez up front, you're not catching him. Very, very unlucky that he did hit the post. But look at this. Diego Alves picks up the ball. What is this for a throw-in? That is a shocking front. Right back to Luis Gustavo. He hit it, deflected, and somehow he doesn't save that. It was the most BS goal. I've one of the, well, one of the most BS goals I've ever conceded. How he's not saving that, I have no idea. As you can see, really, really nice early work team goal there from me. Hitting that across. Great header in by Ruben Castro. And he's just been quality in this series so far. If he can't pick up his team in the season card, that would be very, very nice indeed. As you can see, going through and get in goal again. And Ruben Castro gets his second of the game. And at this point... We fell in the uh, in cruise control basically. Castillo running into the box here, cutting inside, in and out and across. And there was Bacali to make it 3 1 and just secure us the win um, going into this game. And that's how the game did in fact end. We did get the 3 1 win. It's two wins and one loss so far in the series. And I'm happy with that because the one loss was against an opponent that it was hard to beat. He was a, he was a decent opponent. I wouldn't say I deserved to lose 4 1. 
but I also wouldn't say I deserve to full on win it. He did have a great squad, guys, um, and yeah, it was it was a frustrating game to play. Let's just say that, guys. But that is roughly going to be the end of the video. I think we made a few more signings, guys. Um, just a, a few decent signings, a few signings that can help us progress through the divisions. We're not going to buy cheap players when we have this amount of coins. We're going to buy players like Conor Puyanka, 82 raid. We're not going to buy non-rare players anymore. Um, and we're just going to wait until we can buy the decent quality players that we really want to use. We did. There was a lot for um, 950 coins, but we paid 1,000 just so we could get one with extra contracts. 37 contracts, I believe it was, which is absolutely insane, guys. 37 contracts for Conor Puyanka uh, will last us quite a few games, quite a few episodes, probably about maybe 15, 20 episodes as well, which is absolutely insane, guys. As you can see, Kratroliak as well, only 750 coins, the price is in Liga BBV at the moment, uh, I believe it's because of the uh, the packs that are right, the Liga BBV packs and stuff like that, they are very, very, very cheap, and if you have not picked them up, definitely go pick them up just now guys, they will rise in price so much over the next coming weeks, so go pick them up guys, and you'll be making an absolute ton of profit, I've actually spent over 300k in Team of the Seasons, um, from the Russian League and the Latin America League, just so, um, just because I believe personally that they will go up in price. So this is going to be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We'll just put a few of the players in, like Conor Poyanka, um, and some of the players that we did, in fact, by uh, Felipe Luis as well, who is a quality signing. And the squad is looking very, very good um, for being at this stage. Only episode 3 now, guys, and it's already at this stage. Absolutely insane, uh, and I'm buzzing to see how far we can get by the end of FIFA. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to comment down below road to glory just rtg the, the letters r t g r t g whatever r t g uh, and i'll know you've made it to this far in the video if you have made it this far in the video as well um, and you do put rtg in the comment section you'll be up for a shout out this sunday so make sure you do that guys there probably won't be a lot of you have made it this far so if you have make sure to do that and you'll be up for a shout out this sunday hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video make sure uh, to leave a like on it as well if you have 20 likes would be insane guys and subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.